All right, guys, today we're talking about some 10V Kaiser mini sheepdog and the non flipper sheepdog there. This particular example here, this was sent to me a couple years ago when they came out by someone to test, and he just ended up donating it to the channel back then. I just never got around to it, but I have hardness tested this one before, and I have the results of this. I just never did a video on it. And recently, I had this offered to me, and it's a mini sheepdog in 10V. It had already been sharpened twice, and the owner was not having good luck with the edge. I went ahead and sharpened it, used it. I didn't have very good luck with it either. I went ahead and sharpened it again and used it. So then on the fifth edge, I started testing it. Oh, might be kind of hard to see here, but that's about where I tested it right there. And this one won't be so hard to see because this one I did go ahead and use the first three edges on it. it still has some tape stuff and everything on it. And you can see where I did test it right in here. So we'll get right into it and talk about these. First, we'll cover this one. This one I had already tested. And the best test I got out of this one here, you can see it is in 10V. For fine edge, 125 feet. Not, not what I would expect from 10V, but not exactly horrible either. For working edge, 71 feet. Now we're not, we're not looking so good. And the total amount cut, the better of the two tests, was 196 feet. This is 15 degrees per side. This just happens to be thin. Not a bad cutting knife. The edge just doesn't last terribly long. And I did get a five test hardness average on this and it came out to 59.6. So for 10V at 59.6, uh, I don't know if I'm going to fault it for doing 196 feet, but it, that's also not great. Now, I do know from seeing many other tests, other channels, other tests out there on the internet, pictures of other tests, a lot of that Kaiser 10V that's on the fixed blades is in the 57 to 58 range. I did test a Mini for Fletcher at All Things Knives, and his was just over 60 believe was a five test average of 60.1 or 60.2 so when i had the chance to get this one and test it i asked them to go ahead and send it to me i tested it started testing it on the fifth edge this is the better of the two tests that i was able to get out of it and i, I may do one more and follow up because it just wasn't good the fine edge on this was 38 feet. And to put that into perspective, the fine edge on the $10 Rosark Trail was more than 38 feet. The working edge on this, 127 feet. A little surprising for it only doing 38 feet of fine edge. The total amount of cutting on this, 165 feet. This doesn't sharpen well. This is at 15 degrees per side. This is a little thicker than the non-flipper. I'm not sure what's going on with the edge here. And I will hardness test this before I send it off. And then I believe I'm going to pass this around. I've got some people in mind who do hardness testing and who do different kinds of cut testing. And I think I'm going to pass it around to see how does it actually come out. This knife was donated to the channel. There's no reason for me to keep it. I have this one to continue testing on. I already know the hardness on it. This one, however, I have no idea what's up with it. And I'd be curious just to see if it does get better over time or not. How do we really know something's wrong with this? Uh, either it's not really 10V like it says
Anybody who's watched back videos from years ago, Rat 1 and D2. This has been one of the better performing D2 knives I've done. This only did a few feet less total cutting than this 10V did. There isn't anywhere where we should be comparing D2 and 10V for, for any reason, really. Another one. XHP, the Taiwan made Spartan Aster. This did 172 feet. And I did hardness test this one. And this one was a five, te five test average of, I believe it was high 59 or so, 59.8, 59.9. I'm not sure what's wrong with this. That's why I'd love to pass it around and see. You can tell how it's getting up into the plunge grind there. Not that it was great to begin with on the one Fletcher sent me. But I've taken more than enough steel off of this. This actually sharpened so bad when I did it. The first time I sharpened it, I did... I went ahead and did a freehand on the same resin bonded diamond stones that I used in the Ozark Trail video. And after about 10 passes on one side, the burr was absolutely gigantic. I... I understand it, it's supposed to be 100 grit, but it's a 25% concentration stone. To put that in perspective, I did freehand sharpen this one on those same stones. The burr does not come up on this one like it does on this. If this isn't super soft, I would be really, really surprised. It wasn't super easy to get rid of the burr either. Not like you're... Your normal decent stuff. That's all I have for it right now. I will go ahead and get a hardness on this. Update it before I send it out. I do believe I'm going to make sure that I don't release the hardness on this for the video before I let someone else test it. And then we'll go from there. You guys have one. Love to know your luck on your Kaiser 10V how it did for you did it do good did it do bad you having the same kind of experience that i found with it i don't want to buy any more but if anyone has any that they would like to send and i'll test it i'd be happy to test it just to see i would assume there's got to be some decent ones out there we know there's a bunch of soft ones maybe, maybe there's some halfway decent ones out there their 4v wasn't terribly hard but it cut pretty good. That ended up being a five test average of 62 and a half. And it wasn't terrible for 4V. So I'm not sure where they went wrong on all the 10V that I've tested. And that I've seen other people test. And just going by this. This did. This did a little more than 50% of the cutting that the PM2 and 10V did. That was at 63, so huge difference there. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.